Hey, good Thursday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC weather update for this October the 24th, 2013. A chilly day across eastern North Carolina today, but tomorrow we are not going to even make it out of the 50s in many locations. I think most of us, 95% of us, not going to make it out of the 50s uh, tomorrow across the area with this little system that's going to be rolling through tonight that could bring us uh, some clouds and also the chance for a few sprinkles but expect the cooler temperatures will really move in here but there is a warm-up in sight as we head towards next week and also a big change in the forecast as far as the potential for some different weather not necessarily sunny but uh, definitely talking about the potential for some storms rolling back into eastern North Carolina by late next week we'll detail that here in the forecast update video Here's a look at temperatures this evening. We're already down to 50 degrees in Greenville. We're doing this update about 7 o'clock on this Thursday evening. 52 at Columbia, uh, 53 for Swan Quarter, 55 at Hatteras, 58 the current temperature for Moorhead City and Beaufort, 52 at Jacksonville. Look at Keenansville and Ahoski already down in the upper 40s. A lot of dry air undercutting this, uh, this air mass, and on top of that, we've got clear skies and that's allowing for the heating of the day to radiate back into space fairly quickly but their clouds are on the way as we go into the next couple of hours look at the temperatures across the nation right now still 42 degrees right now in Minneapolis St. Paul 41 and uh, Chicago uh, and contrast that to Greenville and we're at 50 degrees already and they're likely to be going down well below freezing tonight and the reasoning why a big trough of uh, cooler air moving into the region. Here's a look at the uh, precision forecast and you see by uh, Friday night into Saturday that's when the core of the cold air is going to be on top of us and then there will be some modification as we head towards next week. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But with the fact that we're going to have temperatures likely below freezing in many locations going into Friday night and to Saturday morning expect the temperatures upper 20s low 30s especially for areas uh, to the west of Highway 17 uh, between the hours of 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. on Saturday. Uh, lingering crops uh, and temperature sensitive plants could be damaged or killed, especially for areas west of Highway 17. Can't stress that enough. We have a freeze watch in effect. Will likely be a freeze warning uh, upgraded going in towards tomorrow. But look at all the cold air in the nation right now. You got freeze watches stretching from uh, uh, from about Richmond, Virginia, through the Carolinas into Georgia and into central Alabama, all the way down to Montgomery, Alabama, also just north of uh, into Auburn, Alabama, and just north of Dothan. You got freeze warnings up from uh, Tennessee and the Tennessee River Valley, Huntsville area, all the way north to uh, south of Chicago. And then you have frost advisories from North Georgia all the way through uh, central Alabama into the Birmingham metro, also into North Mississippi, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, southern portion uh, uh, into uh, north of Little Rock and into Oklahoma and Kansas. So it really depends on where you are, what we're thinking about over the next couple of days, uh, over the next uh, 48 hours or so with this big plunge of cooler air into the region. And you see here on the satellite radar composite, we got clear skies for the time being, but those clouds are starting to edge into the region. And you look up towards West Virginia, Virginia, and also uh, into the uh, Cumberland Plateau, you got some showers, even some snow showers. Uh, the, today we saw the, uh, the live camera from uh, Snowshoe uh, up in West Virginia today, and they had buckets of snow falling. Well, granted, a lot of it was manufactured snow but they are expecting six at least six inches of snow up there in the higher elevations we could actually see some snow in our state going into uh, tonight and going into tomorrow morning especially up towards uh, say Boone Benner Elk could see some light snowfall but nothing too serious uh, with this little clipper system that's gonna be rolling through the region here's a look at the uh, precision forecast model through the overnight hours tonight and temperatures will likely fall fairly quickly until the clouds get a hold of it once the clouds get in reach, that's what's going to hold the temperatures fairly steady for at least a couple of hours. And then we start our slow fall back down. And you see Roanoke Rapids booing around 44, 49 at Rocky Mount, 51 around Greenville. And then down towards the coast, it's clear, but look what happens. The clouds start to move down towards the south and east, and then you clear deep inland sections. Look at Roanoke Rapids, 7 o'clock in the morning, 34 degrees. 
41 in Greenville, and the clouds continue to make their way down towards the south and east. We're completely clear of them by the afternoon hours. We only top out mid 50s with a brisk northeast wind at about uh, north and northeast wind at about 10 miles per hour. And then the big cool down happens. So let's zoom down here, take you through tomorrow morning uh, across the area. Going to have some clouds in the region. Likely going to start off with partly cloudy skies. Then we go to sunshine by noontime uh, across all of eastern North Carolina. Temperatures will be right around that 50 degree mark. And then look what happens. 3 p.m. up to about 55. Greenville, Washington, Swan Quarter. And then, like I said, the big cool down starts as we head through 7 o'clock. And uh, the sun goes below the horizon. That's when we're going to see our temperatures drop like a rock. And overnight, that's when we're going to start to see those temperatures uh, getting down into the uh, 30s and some 20s for deep inland spots. Uh, down south into uh, south of the U.S. 70 corridor, that's where we're going to start to see the clouds early on. That's likely where you're going to see the corridor clouds. That gets out of here fairly quickly through noontime. Sunshine returns. We're into the mid-50s at this point. Upper 50s as you head closer to the beaches, thanks to the, the uh, sea, uh, the uh, ocean influence. Uh, down there, Moorhead City, Atlantic Beach, Swan Quarter. I mean, uh, not Swan Quarter, but uh, Swansboro. Uh, and then we only warm up once again, mid 50s with sunshine, and then the uh, cool air really takes hold once again. So as far as tomorrow is concerned, Moorhead City, we're going to go on average about 55 across the entire region. A few morning clouds, and then sunshine and chilly conditions. Once the big note of cooler air comes in, there will be a modification of the air mass. Look at this big surge of warmer air coming up here. Uh, you see another surge of cooler air coming out of the uh, Canadian provinces and down through the Midwest. But here's Thursday afternoon. A big delineation line. You can definitely tell that there's a cold front on the way in this type picture. And that's a big moisture surge as well. And the way that the GFS model is depicting this, we could have a possible severe weather situation a Halloween evening. Uh, we're going we're gonna to hold to the possibility for a few storms moving into the region on Thursday and possibly on Friday. The, the European model a little behind on this. Uh, as far as the timing is concerned, it's right now just a timing difference on the two models. If the GFS does verify, though, and it has been sticking to its guns, we could possibly see a severe weather situation. Now, I'm not going to say that that is a definite slam dunk at this point, but we'll have to keep an eye out. It's seven days away. A lot can change in that time period. As far as what we're concerned with right now is the big chill coming in for tonight, uh, for tomorrow night into Saturday morning, but expect sunny skies through the weekend. And a nice little warm-up, too. You saw the modification of the air mass as we head towards Sunday, and Monday we're back up into the middle and upper 60s, low 70s by next week. And a few more clouds for Monday and also for Wednesday as well. But like I said, we're still going to be watching out on Thursday. Uh, that is the if. Uh, and, uh, that's something that we're definitely going to be watching for Wednesday, uh, Thursday, rather, into Friday. And possibly Saturday, if the European is correct on timing. Uh, like I said, still a couple of days that will hammer that down as we get a little closer to time. But obviously, there is a warm-up in, in store for us. We just got to get past this freeze, uh, possible freeze on uh, Friday uh, night into Saturday morning. And then we're uh, clear sailing as we head through the uh, rest of next week. Stay up to date with us on Facebook as well as Twitter and on WNCT.com. Chief Meteorologist David Sawyer in at uh, 10 o'clock on CW, 11 o'clock right back on WNCT. Uh, Dante Jones in tomorrow morning, morning edition 5 to 7. And I will have another update video here on Facebook as well as Feed and Google+. Plus. That will be coming up tomorrow evening. Uh, but in the meantime, like I said, stay up to date with us on the uh, Facebook as well as on the television side as well. You guys have a great rest of your evening and a great weather week ahead.